The Pacific Northwest is a trash area. It's really disgusting to look at and everything you hear about it having bad weather all the time is totally true and you should obviously never ever visit. I visit Washington State twice a year on average. This is to visit my in-laws due to this strange obsession I have with keeping my wife married to me. I get the feeling you don't trust me. Alright, that's fair. I want to keep her around because she does good things like make plastic bag pancakes for me whenever I have to go on bus trips for work. Over the Christmas holidays, we had a lovely time visiting her family in their awful, dreary homeland. One day in particular, we went to Seattle to visit the fluffiest dog in the world, along with her best friend, a robot who throws treats at her. I believe they're getting their own TV show soon. All sarcasm aside for a moment here, I really love the Pacific Northwest, and especially Seattle. I love to travel, I love going anywhere that I can possibly go to visit. I've been to multiple continents, I've been to many massive cities like London, or Chicago, New York, Toronto, Canada, which is, I guess, opposed to like Toronto, Kansas. I don't really know why I was, what I was getting at there. I mean, I've been to a bunch of places, so understand that when I say that I am not a quote unquote big city person, what I mean is that I enjoy the experience, but I do not feel like I would want to actually live in any of those places. It's just not my rhythm, and plus, everyone I've ever met in those places have informed me that I am not welcome to live there, and they would prefer it if I left. But Seattle, ah, Seattle. It's one of the few larger places I've been to where I can say, yes, this is a spot I could definitely spend a few years in if doing so wouldn't put me in insane debt. Yeah, it is dreary and rainy a lot and embrace the fact that it's also a place where the temperature on average fluctuates like 30 degrees over the course of the entire year as opposed to 30 degrees in one afternoon like my beloved home state of Mississippi and Seattle is awesome. Also, the dog and the robot, don't forget how cool they are. While we were there, we did indulge in some of the touristy things to do, but not like what a lot of tourists do where they wait in line for hours in order to drink drink bad bean water. No, we headed to the touristy public market, which is awesome, and ate some dang old Russian pastries and scoffed at those who were waiting in line for hours in order to drink bad bean water. Also, we saw a lady who had a corgi in a backpack. On the drive from where my in-laws live to the metropolis known as Amazon Town, I had already decided that I would film a small series of videos about people's favorite things from 2018. And I've already made the one about Tyler, which I conveniently forgot to include this one part, so I'm just gonna haphazardly throw it in right now. My favorite game of the year is uh, Spider-Man, hands down, no question. I thought it was only right to give my wife some screen time because in the many, many videos that have been published on SSD over the year that we were actually active and then the year that we weren't, she had never actually cameoed, which is crazy because we actually got married while the channel was active. Wait, was it my marriage that killed the activity on this YouTube channel? Let's look back on 2018, okay. the year that has forsaken us. Oh. <laughs> Some people celebrate New Year's. I like to uh, act as though Sorry the previous year betrayed me. I'm going to in invoke the spirit of everyone's favorite non-Christmas song. Uh, these are a few of my favorite things. It's not a Christmas song. It's not a Christmas song. Why do they play it on Christmas channels? First and foremost, what was your favorite movie that you saw in 2018. This year? Yes. I don't know. You'll have to help me refresh. I mean, I didn't like Shape of Water. Is that okay? Can I say the ones I didn't like? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think that technically was a 2017 movie, though. Really? I think it came out last year. Yeah. Okay, look, let's just take a break for a moment here. Probably a lot of you will see this and say, what? You didn't like Shape of Water? How dare you, you monster? And I'm gonna ask that you don't do that. I'm not gonna make any comments about you if you do like this movie, because I don't think any less of you if you do like it. That's fine, go for it. Enjoy the movie because you enjoy movies like that. That's great. It does not affect us in any way if you like a movie that my wife and I do not like. I don't necessarily care at all about Guillermo del Toro. I think Pacific Rim is his best film. And while we're at it, I don't really like Quentin Tarantino either. I'm just gonna go ahead and burn all the bridges I possibly can right now. There are some Tarantino movies that I like, sure, but much like Del Toro, his style isn't necessarily my favorite style and therefore I do not hold any sort of loyalty towards him as a director and liking any of his or Del Toro's movies simply because they are the ones that made them. If you do, if you are a Tarantino fan or a Del Toro fan, and then good for you, and I'm glad that you have that in your life. 
life, and I'm glad that you enjoy that, and I hope you always hold on to that. I am legitimately happy that you enjoy something, because this world has enough negativity in it when it comes to people hearing that somebody say that they that they don't like something or that they do like something and attacking that person simply because of their preference, and it's an incredibly selfish way to interact with other people. And I bet if you like Shape of Water, then you started this entire thing off, maybe about to bash me, and now you're not so sure whether it's worth the risk because of the conviction that you feel in your heart after hearing this monologue. Did we see the one with Lupin? <laughs> <laughs> Did we see the one with Lupin? Yeah, um, werewolf guy from Harry Potter. Yes, I know. I'm just trying to remember a werewolf solo movie. <laughs> I don't no, think that happened. he happen. was, um, not the president, but he was the British guy. Um. Ch Churchill. Uh, oh. Yeah. No, I think that was last year as well, but also, uh, that was... Did Gary Oldman play Lupin? Yes. Yeah, he... No. He was? No, Gary Oldman played Sirius Black, right? Um, Didn't he? Yeah. Yep. You were close, though. I mean, that was a, that was a good. That was a good train of thought. He I played completely... a dog. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, the guy that played Lupin played the bad guy in Wonder Woman. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love that movie. Was that this year? Mm-mm. Ah. So, we've gone over your favorite movies of 2017. <laughs> So it should be pretty clear by now that my wife has no idea who any celebrities actually are. But, I mean, she has a pretty good reason for that. It's because she is one of those weird people that reads books and actually has things going on in her life. So, you know, pretty much the complete opposite of me. So, what, what did we see in 2018? Avengers of Infinity War came out. You know, I liked it, but I hated the ending so much. Yeah, that's fair. And I know they needed to set up for the next movie, but it was... You want me to look up a list of movies that came yeah. out this year? Okay, yeah. I will do you that. Get my phone out. Well, now that we've looked them up, I remember loving Black Panther. We actually watched that recently again, and I loved it just the same. I don't care that the CGI isn't that great. I loved it. And Won't You Be My Neighbor made me cry, and I loved it. It was so sweet. Mr. Rogers is a treasure. Those are the only two out of the list that I remember, like, oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay. The other ones were good, but... But those are the ones that stood out? Yeah. We just watched Mary Poppins Returns. Does it make your list of favorites? Yeah, I mean, that one was a classic. And I was absolutely surprised by how well they combined, like, aspects of the old movie while also making it, like, applicable to this kind of younger generation now seeing Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. It was really, really well done. How about uh, TV shows? And it doesn't, all right, we'll just say, for the sake of, I don't want to look up whatever shows are like currently on or whatever, what just was your favorite TV show that you watched in 2009? Okay. I love that. TV that was a fast that answer. And, yeah, well, that one and Box Burgers, those are my two faves, but I think Brooklyn Nine Nine, they had a great season. They had a phenomenal season, so yes. Good. Okay, your favorite album of 2018? Like music? Fa yes. No, photo album. Your favorite photo <laughs> album. Well, anything that Wolfpack puts out is good. Their most recent album, overall, like, from top to bottom, is really good. It's called The Hill Climber. Yes. Yeah, I like that one. That's an acceptable answer. I also would have accepted Inside Voice by Joey Dawson. Yeah, that was. I've listened to that one a lot. Let's go with that one. Inside Voice, yeah. album of the year from the Cravens. You heard it here first. <laughs> what is something that you experienced or something you did or something that happened that just was your favorite thing to have happened? We got a dog. Easy answer. Yeah. Your dog. I love my Radar O'Reilly. <laughs> Corporal Radar O'Reilly is her full name. Well, and the fact that you came up with the most perfect name made it the best. Yeah, I'm pretty great. Yeah. What my wife and I ultimately discovered while trying to produce a video about her favorite things from the past year and Tyler's favorite things from 2018 was that really neither of us actually remembered anything that happened in 2018. And this made me wonder, perhaps it wasn't just the YouTube channel SSD that suffered during 2018. Maybe there was a lot that I missed out on. I mean, it makes sense. I was knee deep in a new and extremely demanding job. I was only about six months into marriage and I was still trying desperately to find some sort of balance between all of these things and then side projects like podcasts or this channel. And as evidenced by 
well, the lack of activity on SSD. Some things had to be kind of put by the wayside and this was one of them. Maybe 2018 was just too busy for me. I don't think I can realistically make a video about my own favorite things in 2018 because I don't really remember enough about what happened or what came out in 2018 to list out favorite things. I went to a concert of one of my favorite bands. I remember that much, but you ask me about movies that came out in the year, I have to stop recording in order to look them up so I can actually remember because I'm thinking about movies that came out in 2017. So maybe 2019 just needs a stronger focus, uh, maybe a more emphasis on life experiences and less on how busy I am at work or something. Maybe 2019 needs more self-reflection in the form of dumb video essays that I force upon you because you subscribed to this channel when I made a video about animated Batman movies and now you don't really know why you're still here. Maybe 2019 just needs something at all just to shake things up. Or maybe it really just needs me to be more aware of myself and what it is I'm doing and what it is I'm enjoying. If 2018 was a blur, well, it really only means that 2019 holds a lot of potential. Potential for a lot more awareness. And the only logical place to start when dealing with self-awareness is by playing video games. Did you like that? I just set up the next video, so you're just gonna stick around to see what I'm talking about.